turn now to GMA Health Alert. I'm going to walk over to Jen because we have two major headlines on breast cancer and about coffee. It's a new study that shows that coffee drinking could significantly cut your risk of dying from a number of diseases. And on the breast cancer front, an innovative new genetic test that could guide important treatment decisions. And that's why Jen Ashton is here to talk morning, about this. These are Robin. two really big ones here. Yep. First, let's start with the breast cancer study. Yeah, so this is a new test called Mammaprint. And basically, this study looked at women who had early stage invasive breast cancer who were kind of in a gray zone in terms of treatment. They weren't super high risk. They weren't super mm -hmm. low risk. And using this test, they helped to determine whether or not these women should receive chemotherapy or not. They found that this test could accurately place those women in the appropriate treatment group with no difference in five-year survival. So potentially could help spare women who don't really need the benefit of chemo from, from chemotherapy. You know, I have to say, when I was diagnosed in 2007, and I was wondering, I'm like, it's not one size fits all. How do you know that right. this is the best for me? And genetic testing is something that we're hearing a lot, not just with breast cancer. That's right. We're hearing a lot about it because this is where the main focus in oncology and cancer is. And as you said, not just with breast cancer, but with all cancer. Right. Most people have heard of the BRCA gene, right. the BRCA Angelina Jolie mutation increases the risk of breast cancer. But there are many other genes who do this that do the same thing. So women can have their blood tested in terms of a, a screening, so to speak, mm -hmm. but we're also testing the tumors of cancer for their genetic fingerprint as well, mm. so it's personalized therapy. And you still, no matter who you are, should know your history. Where, history where, where is very important. When you talk about breast cancer, and we've talked about it here before, there are things you can control, things you can't right. control. The things that can increase a woman's risk that really are not under our control, the age at our first period, the age at the birth of a first child, did the woman breastfeed, were there breast biopsies, and the age that a woman goes through menopause, we can't yeah. change those things. Right. But the good news is there are factors that are under our control. So limiting alcohol intake is very important. Keeping your weight in a healthy range and exercising all shown to lower the risk. So it's about controlling mm -hmm. what you can control. Right. And every time we do a segment like this, I get a lot of tweets. Men get breast cancer, too. It's Absolutely. not just women. Absolutely. And we always need to yes. remember okay. that. All right. Now tell us about coffee. All right. Yeah. Well, What's is, up with that? This is the best part of our day. Yes. Two very big studies looked at a lot of people. Long-term follow-up. They, they affected. They, they took into account smokers. They looked at decaf and regular. They found across the board, again, conclusive evidence that people who consume coffee mm -hmm. up to four or more cups a day have a lower risk of death from all causes and deaths from, look at this list, yes. the credit for delivering this news. <laughs> they, they lowered the risk of death from heart disease, cancer, respiratory disease, stroke, diabetes, kidney disease. Again, very, very How much good coffee news. do you have to drink for that? Though? Well, now, it's <laughs> premature. Remember, these studies still based on association okay. and observation. We need to show biologic cause and effect, but it appears that three to five cups a day or up to 400 milligrams of caffeine can be safe. This is what I consume in a day. <laughs> I'm going to just take this with me after I leave here, Robin. This is what Amy consumes in an hour. In an hour. <laughs> so she's it, good it to go. It works for her, though. All right, it sure does. And for you, too, Jen. Thank Thanks you. so much.